What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was a random matchup against FYSB. It was our, actually our potluck spin. We drew FYSB. Um, that's kind of a cool idea, actually. We've been talking about this for a long time. Um, you know, now that modding is a little less rampant, maybe. I mean, I don't even know how to describe it, but... Um, a little more tricky, I guess, for them to do. We can kind of do a little uh, other cool things and not have mod and clans try and jump in and hunt you or whatever. So we do this potluck spin with, um, you know, everyone just has about the same town hall makeup and you all spin at the same time and you get one of the other clans. Actually, it's a really cool idea. So uh, we drew FYSB and those guys really, really came out strong. Uh, good victory for them, 82 to 80. Um, not necessarily our best showing, but uh, no, and overall, not not really a terrible job either by by us. Um, they did have an extra 9.5, so they had two extra Grand Warden attacks and one by two stars. And we actually had the percentage. So, yeah, you know, um, overall, I think uh, fairly even matchup and good job by both sides. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's just jump right in and uh, check some of these out. I think I got about six or seven replays I want to show here. So let's watch some replays after this sip of recap juice. We're going to check out Mach here. Using the Mach 6 attack here. Now, the Mach 6, again, sort of created by Mach himself here. The idea, it, it's very simple. It's nothing too drastically different. You're just incorporating a CC full of miners into basically a queen charge um, go the hole, but the only difference is you're not bringing a go. Uh, you're just creating a good side of the funnel. You're bringing a whack ton of Valks. You're just charging into the base with the queen and the Valk, or sorry, the king and the Valks. <clears throat> once, uh, once you yank that CC out and deal with the defensive queen via your queen charge or walk, and then you're going to send these Valks in and try and shred them in through the core with the king and use the miners to sort of follow them along on the outside. Now, the miners can really sustain themselves for a very long time, especially against just point defense. Uh, you know, they're constantly going underground. The point defense, I found out they do stay locked onto the target, meaning they stay locked onto the miner that is underground. They just don't shoot it. It is still targeted on it. So as soon as it pops up, it's going to continue to attack it. But that just means it, the more often the miner's going underground, the longer and longer that defense is going to be held up on that miner. So anyhow, so queen uh, charge is successful. CC pulled out. Uh, he's going to go ahead, go right in at the queen chamber once this uh, once this funnel's created. He uses his king essentially here as the golem uh, because uh, and I, I'm surprised actually. The king's taking so much damage, has a sliver of health left, hits the ability. But the king ends up surviving for quite a long time. Now all these Valks are in there. Heal spell goes down. Going to help things out a little bit. Bring that king back up a little bit of health. Tesla farm pops, but jump spell is down right over top of it. Heal spell taking care of everything. Start just feeding in uh, a few hogs here and there. Sends those miners in from 12 to start taking care of all this business. And almost realistically, it's almost like swag miners. Because the miners in this attack didn't do much. You got a few in on that cannon, which helped those hogs, which would have got it anyways. He's got a mini up here doing cleanup. So the miners up here doing cleanup didn't matter anyways. And then they just shoot back down. And there's 88% of the base taken care of by the time the miners get down to here. So it was almost like swag miners in the CC here. Um, absolutely smashed this base mock. Really nice job, buddy. Du -du -du. Tree in the bag. Mm -mm. Number 28, Chad Fowler. <clears throat> Pretty much every recap I'm going to show now is probably going to have one of these attacks. Good old HGHB. The new Town Hall 9 spammable attack. So you just drop all your giants, let's say 11, maybe 12 giants with four healers, get them in, get a big funnel. That's a big piece to this, pretty much the only piece to this raid. Uh, get a very nice funnel going, get the bowlers in nice and tight, right in behind. If you can get the bowlers following those giants into the base, take care of those CC troops via poison. Have the queen in there helping out, make sure the CC troops get mopped up. You're going to have really good success because these bowlers under rage are just going to smash absolutely everything. It's got 15 hogs, keep in mind as well. 
And those are just going to start sprinkling in uh, from these outer compartments. See, there's two, there's two, just two at a time on all these outer outer compartments. You see these kind of bases. Uh, Kat and I were talking about this in the base building video with these very long, skinny outer compartments. I've talked about it so many times. There's really only a few places for even spring traps, never mind bombs. So you don't have a lot to worry about as long as you're kind of going two per defense there, especially when the, the town hall is a newer nine or whatever you still see some town hall eight defenses in there you're gonna get really good value out of this attack does have everything kind of wander up and around here unfortunately but if you see kind of he's got the giants in their tank and the tesla he has still so many hogs left just ends up flooding the rest of them get in on that cannon take care of that tesla and there's a wizard tower remaining down it goes beautiful just smash this base swag ability good job there chad Mm -mm. all righty 23 good old gravy <clears throat> so uh i think gravy had another six pack this war this guy's just a beast <clears throat> gravy brings seven healers on this attack that's what kind of caught my eye on this attack uh so he's going to use four on the little queen uh queen walk here i believe he's just going to walk the queen down here I think he wanted to bust this T intersection to allow the queen kind of get access in and up here. But you're going to see how it works. It only opens up this little teensy tiny arch tower apartment. But it actually ends up working out perfectly for him because uh, she just steps up into the arch tower apartment, takes care of uh, the stuff around, and then continues her way down around the 6 o'clock spot. So lures that CC out. Um, I think. 8, 16, 24. No, that's that's the whole CC. Uh, poison goes down and take care of that. Gravy's really smart. It just, you know what? Three Valks incoming. Better hit that ability. There it goes. Boom. Hit the ability. Down go the Valks. Down goes the Mini. And we're going to continue on the way here. See what I mean? Starts working on that wall. So he goes ahead and drops a wall breaker here in a second. So yeah, okay. One. Drop a couple more. Da, da, da. One kind of goes down a little bit. Does not open up that wall. So it only opens up this. I don't. Maybe he wanted this. I mean, he had the Mini down there in the cannon. So I would have preferred it to go in the base. But... Um, it's unfortunate. It is what it is. Grady still comes away with a big tree star here. Baby dragging out the top, getting that funnel going. Valks are now in. Good job so far. He uses the healers right on top of the Valks and King. Just keeps everything alive while they're taking uh, taking care of this uh, outer wall. Everything beats in now. Bowlers are in there as well. Just smashing into this base. Kind of gets a little bit of a split on his troops, but it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Everything's just going to continue to smash through these walls. Bowlers are just wrecking everything in three shots here. Poison down on top of that defensive queen. King locks on. Down she goes. Still has those healers there in the rage. Nothing is going to die here. Just absolute fantastic job. Um, unfortunately, doesn't quite get that expo down, but it doesn't really matter. It's got so much stuff coming in at this 3 o'clock apartment. Bowlers is king. All the barbs, the healers are there. So really, really just fantastic kind of convergence of all his troops here all meeting up at three o'clock and then just going to go ahead and finish off the expo and air d the only defenses that remain in this base smashy smashy and down it goes and down goes the expo with a few swag hogs and a swag rage in the bag grady just smashes it nice job buddy oh goodness someone's going nuts upstairs um uh, so go number 21 leo this guy is just i've talked about this in another recap actually um oh hang on okay um leo has absolutely he's just been hitting every single base he sees with this um uh, either cold-blooded quad lalo or just a shattered straight up shattered lalo and you think on these anti three stars that's not as easy as it used to be but Leo is just forcing it in and making it happen. I mean, you, you look at this queen chamber, I'd be a little weary of ensuring I would get a, a, an air defense, the CC troops, and that defensive queen taken care of. Leo knows he's just going to smash right through this stuff, right? As soon as these CC troops go down, queen's going to step up, take care of the sweeper and that air defense. Still, and then he's going to be left with four lava hounds and 15 balloons for the rest of the base, right? Tries to get a little one-for-one -one trade on the arch tower there. Does not quite get it, unfortunately. Needed one more smash from that balloon, would have had it, but no big deal. So in comes that first Lava Hound, right? Kill Squad's job is done. He's got that queen in there kind of doing cleanup. She ends up going down fairly soon. You're gonna have to pop that ability. Um, 
but like look at the spread now he's got lava hounds now in on uh with for only these three air defense kind of all in a row from the nine o'clock through to the six o'clock position uh balloons are just going to continue to follow along the path right there's there's only one spot for all this stuff to go i'm going to opt to drop that max hound first to make sure that it bursts because if you <laughs> you see what's left at the end of this raid actually he's got so uh so much stuff left you probably could have got away with just three lava hounds for three air defense here but kind of better to be safe than sorry <clears throat> so there goes that lava hound um oh maybe not that was the other attack he did he had he had two lava hounds left over in another attack but exact same style of attack just absolutely smashing these bases with these lalos leo i love it six pack in this war i think you had a um it, i think you're on like a five three star streak with um with this lalo so really nice job leo very very impressed my friend you know me and how much I love Lalo's. Oh, just in time. Gets the wizard tower down. <laughs> Tree in the bag, buddy. Nice work. All right. And then 19. Good old Mikhail. Mikhail's been really picking it up lately. Uh, with one of my favorite attacks here. This is literally almost what I'm farming bases with right now because I don't need DE anymore. So really basically just trying to go with spells and uh, four healers as the only elixir I'm spending. And I'm actually really flying through my lava walls right now. I think I only have about 30 left to go. So really stoked for that. That'll be a glorious day when those lava walls are finally out of the way. And then I go up to Town Hall 10 and I get to do another 25 of them. Oh, screw my life. <laughs> Anyhow, poison down over that defensive queen. This little nook is just perfect. Kale recognizes that. Queen's just going to step up, take care of business there. Is the dead queen doing a little bit of a dance. You guys notice that? When the heroes are dying, the king will do it too. They do this like little dance almost back and forth when they die. I don't know. It's, maybe it's just me. <laughs> Keep an eye out for it though, man. Like, it just happened there. She kind of goes like back and forth a few times. I don't know. <laughs> I amuse myself with these little things. It's all about the little things. Poison down, right? Has to hit that ability. Those Valks and the baby dragon combo are very deadly for your queen. Look how close his queen was to dying, but doesn't matter. It's like, all right, now the CC is done. Now I'm going to rage, get a little extra value out of this rage. Down it goes. Boom. Let's just rip through all of this stuff. Bum, ba, ba. <clears throat> does need to get that air defense taken care of does not want to lose those healers down they go down the arch tower goes now he's going to unleash these valks now if you watch this king goes for Milwaukee to not funnel off this uh, army camp but it ends up working perfectly because mikhail has got miners in his cc now keep in mind he still has not dropped his cc so the king walking here actually works out very well because he's got all these valks under heal they're a-ok -okay in the core queen is stepping up and has kind of just continued to create the funnel on this side Drops a few hogs up here. Probably wanted more because of the Tesla there. Remember I was watching this attack live. I'm like, no, send the other two. If you just sent two more, might have got this. But look at this. One hog dies, I believe. Oh, he has a sliver of health. I just remember there was like one hog left. I'm like, oh, would have dropped a couple more. But no, Mikhail is smarter than me. See these miners? Oh, it loses the three miners to that spring trap there. But the miners just kind of work their way down alongside this king. The king taking out all the trash buildings on the outside kept the miners on the inside of the base. So they kind of do some work with the, with the king here uh, in coordination. Has a nice early minion down on this um, this storage up uh, in this weird location. So that would really, really these two these two buildings were the only threat now to this attack at this point. Because definitely the queen and this hog and the king are going to take care of the trash buildings on the bottom here. <clears throat> Tree stars is imminent. Imminent. <laughs> an interesting day for me today if that's how i'm starting my day beautiful treat in the bag for mikhail job buddy mikhail actually really helped pioneer mock with uh with those mock six attacks so really nice <clears throat> miners are op uh let's check out warble here what i liked about warb's attack here he recognized this sort of l-shaped compartment and what it allows him access to right you look at all these buildings like three defenses there four defenses there the king and um a mortar there so we're at what eight defenses and then plus the cc troops maybe even like 10 defenses because he can get access to the sweeper so see how this is working opens up this wall just gonna allow this queen to walk down 
using the giant as a little bit of tanking action. I'm gonna walk this. And, and now the only problem with this attack was it kind of was a long entry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but it worked perfectly, right? He's just got to be very patient. Got to wait till that CC comes out. I think he even drops a hog here trying to yank the CC out and it doesn't go his way. So he's really just got to be patient and wait for this king to go out. Here comes the poison. Slow down that king so he doesn't really have to use any use the ability or use a spell yet. Does have that expo locked onto him. So he's going to have to drop the rage here in one so Oh, excuse me, one second. Now the Expo loses target there for a moment. And down goes the Rage. Poison is down. Take care of those CC troops. Now that the CC troops are yanked out, he can go ahead and start the rest of this attack. But see how much time's been eaten up. Like, definitely definitely took quite a bit of time to get charged in there. Take care of all that jazz. Even, even gets benefit uh, on those skellies from that poison. So really nice job. See what I mean? So... Boom, it's going to get, I think, like 12 defenses out of this queen because that Tesla pop now too, maybe even 13. Ton of defenses. So in go the Valks kind of from here. There's only really one place to go. I like how he dropped the wizard here to kind of keep things moving. And a Valk going on the outside is almost a good thing because as these buildings get taken down, um, it's gonna force it's gonna force everything up and around. Now he sends these hogs in, kind of doing a little protection, right? Just kind of keeping everything in the middle of the base. Does not want anything straying. He's already got a little bit on the outside here. So um, actually, like I was saying, the Valk on the outside helping these wizards do cleanup is just perfect. King ends up going to the wall here, which is unfortunate. But oh well, he's got so many hogs moving in. There's only one compartment. Like he got so much with the initial. Uh, hit from his queen he's just got way too much like so all these hogs in there there's only a few defenses left got all these bowlers just smashing through the base really good read warp very sexy very 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 sexy tree star <laughs> loved it sort of the uh the new hybrid attack the bowlers or miners in the cc guys very very powerful you just got to use them properly and, and yeah you know funnel for those bowlers make sure you know where your miners are going to path you should have a lot of success. So, anyways, only 10 versus 10 hit of the war. At least for us. I didn't actually check. I don't think they had a 10 versus 10. Maybe they did. So, 17 bowlers, 6 miners in the bag here. Has 4 healers down on his queen. Has 2 more he's going to drop. Uh, drops a few bowlers over here. <clears throat> with the other two healers the idea here is just create that funnel right nice wide funnel when you're dealing with bowlers they have a mind of their own they want to do whatever the hell they want they're worse than the old ai for valks uh, i mean i shouldn't say worse but definitely different they definitely can see a lot further and decide to go reaching for buildings that are on the outside so you need to make that huge huge funnel and he does poisons goes down right over the heroes right over the cc troops has all those bowlers in there right the only threat to this little death ball of bowlers is really double giant bombs um, or upgrade infernos. You know, this level, these level one infernos don't stand a chance. Look at that. Use the freeze, but didn't even need it because of the range of the bowlers. The bowlers attacked from back here and the trail end of their, their bowlers took out that inferno tower there. Really nice job. Uh, ends up uh, losing his queen, I believe, down here after a minute. She's doing some serious work. Has to hit that uh, ability up. Takes care of a little bit, but she ends up going down here, I think, in one moment. But really, the bowlers and healers and these miners now he sent in <coughs> are just absolutely going to smash through the rest of this base. These, like, If you look at this, there's only three point defense left. All these miners, it doesn't stand a chance. Does not stand a chance. These miners are just going to absolutely wreck through the rest of this base. Even if he didn't have these bowlers here, they're really not doing much. The miners are doing all the work at this point. Bowlers basically just smashed on walls. Miners just working through the cleanup here. Just got to make their way on over to these uh, cannon and arch tower action. Down they go. Bowlers step up, try and help out a little bit. But miners finish the job. Down it goes. I think he had one left. Oh, not quite. <laughs> oh, that could have been really deadly, actually. If his bowlers had got there before that miner triggered the one set singly. I don't know. Anyhow, tree in the bag for Burt Dog. Nice job, my friend. 10 versus 10. I actually want to check that, see if they had any tanks. All of ours were 11 versus 10s. Um, oh, yeah, they did. They definitely did. There's a bully. There's a. Uh, so, yeah, they had a couple 10 versus 10s. So, good for them. Um, like I said, having those extra two grand warden attacks does make a big difference in a close war like this. Um, 
you know, they, especially they missed one on our 11th, right? So, I mean, if we had an even amount of Grand Warden attacks, and I mean, if you look, let's see what they had. They did get three on Mixa too. That is, that is a feat in itself. Um, and then we got an 11, 10 versus 10, 11 versus 10. 10 versus 10. So yeah, their 10s had some really good success, you know. So if they didn't have those extra couple Grand Warren attacks, still would have been insanely close because, uh, you know, FYSB did a really good job up top. Um, just fantastic overall. For both sides, it uh, was a really fun war. And thanks, FYSB. Uh, we shall meet again. Uh, I think I'm going to call it an afternoon, though. My kid is going nuts upstairs, so i got to find out what's going on. Just giving my wife a hard time. Um, Anyhow, <laughs> calling it an afternoon. That'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.